जीवन यू स्मेल लाइक स्मोक माय मदर सेड टू मी सो आई रब्ड एन ओवल ऑफ सोप इन माय हेयर एंड पोर्ड अ होल बकेट ऑफ वाटर ऑन माय सेल्फ बिफोर अ नेबर कंप्लेंट दैट आई वाज वेस्टिंग द मॉर्निंग सप्लाई देयर वाज अ कर्फ्यू दैट डे ऑन द मेन स्ट्रीट अ पुलिस जीप वुड क्रीप बाय एवरी हाफ आवर डेली वेज लेबरर्स कंपेल्ड टू वर्क would come home with arms raised to show they had no weapons in bed my wet hair spread on the pillow i picked up my new phone purchased with my own salary screen guard still attached on facebook there was only one conversation these terrorists attacked the wrong neighborhood hashtag #kolabagan train attack hashtag #undefeated friends If you have 50 rupees skip your samosas today and donate to The more I scrolled the more Facebook unrolled This news clip exclusively from 24 hours shows how candlelight vigil at The night before I had been at the railway station no more than a 15 minute walk from my house I ought to have seen the men who stole up to the open windows and threw flaming torches into the halted train but all i saw were carriages burning their doors locked from the outside and dangerously hot the fire spread to huts bordering the station smoke filling the chests of those who lived there more than a hundred people died the government promised compensation to the families of the dead 80000 rupees which well the government promises many things In a video to the dozen microphones thrust at his chin the chief minister was saying let the authorities investigate somebody had spliced this comment with a video of policemen scratching their heads it made me laugh i admired these strangers on facebook who said anything they wanted to they were not afraid of making jokes whether it was about the police or the ministers they had their fun and wasn't that freedom I hoped that after a few more salary slips after I rose to be a senior sales clerk of pantaloons I would be free in that way too Then in a video clip further down the page a woman came forward her hair flying her nose running a wet trail down to her lips her eyes red She was standing on the sloping platform of our small railway station into the microphone she screamed There was a jeep full of policemen right there. Ask them why they stood around and watched while my husband burned. He tried to open the door and save my daughter. He tried and tried. I shared that video. I added a caption. Policemen paid by the government watched and did nothing while this innocent woman lost everything. I wrote. I laid the phone next to my head and dozed. the heat brought sleep to my eyes when i checked my phone next there were only two likes a half hour later still two likes then a woman i don't know who commented on my post how do you know this person is not faking it maybe she wants attention i sat up was i friends with this person in her profile picture she was posing in a bathroom did you even watch the video I replied The words of the heartless woman drifted in my mind I was irritated by her but there was excitement too This was not the frustration of no water in the municipal pump or power cut on the hottest night Wasn't this a kind of leisure dressed up as agitation For me the day was a holiday after all My mother was cooking fish so small we would eat them bones and tail My father was taking in the sun his back pain eased Under my thumb I watched post after post about the train attack earn 50 likes 100 likes 300 likes nobody liked my reply And then in the small glowing screen I wrote a foolish thing I wrote a dangerous thing a thing nobody like me should ever think let alone write Forgive me ma
If the police didn't help ordinary people like you and me, if the police watched them die, doesn't that mean, I wrote on Facebook, that the government is also a terrorist? Outside the door, a man slowly pedaled his rickshaw, the only passenger his child, the horn going paw-paw for her glee.